Albion Falls is a complex cascade waterfall, 19 meters in height. Located at the southernmost tip of Kings Forest Park in Hamilton, its source is the Red Hill Creek and enjoys year-round flow. It is also known as the premier waterfall in Hamilton's east end. In July 2009, a weekend rainstorm altered the gorge at Albion Falls. Entire sections were carved out of the earth, and the shifting of rocks in the 100-foot wide, 40-foot deep space created a third shelf, making the waterfall more accessible than ever before. This waterfall has a rich history. It was once considered as a possible water supply source for Hamilton, and rocks from the surrounding area were used in the rock garden of the Royal Botanical Gardens. The land on which Albion Falls is located was once known as Albion Mills, or the village of Mount Albion. Lower Mill Falls, also known as Mill Falls, is located on Ancaster Creek at the Old Mill Restaurant on Old Dundas Road. It measures 6 meters in height, and its crest width is 4 meters. It is considered a complex classic falls and has a water flowing over it year-round. The falls are located on private property, but as the land is the site of a restaurant, people are welcome to view the waterfall, and viewing it is best done from the lower parking lot just below the large stone mill building. Darnley Cascade is located in Crooks Hollow, which has a rich historic past. Many early settlers came to the area and settled along Spencer Creek. James Crooks, a Scotsman by birth, founded Crooks Hollow in 1805. He built the first grist mill in the area and named it after Lord Darnley, whom he idolized. The waterfall soon became known locally as Darnley's Cascade. The Dartley Cascade is a cascade waterfall measuring 4 meters high. Located at Crooks Hollow Conservation Area in Greensville, its source is Spencer Creek. At 225 meters above sea level, it's the highest elevation of any Hamilton area waterfall. Tews Falls is a ribbon waterfall 41 meters in height, making it the tallest in Hamilton. Located at the Spencer Gorge and Webster's Falls Conservation Area in Greensville, its source is Logies Creek. Much of the present gorge was carved out of the body of water that preceded Spencer Creek about 10,000 years ago. The rock layers are deposits of mud and other substances from the floors of the ancient seas that once covered parts of this continent. And fossilized remains of sea plants and animals have been found in rocks in the area. This is Borers Creek, and it feeds Borers Falls, which is a 15 meter high, curtain style waterfall. And it is located at the Borers Falls Conservation Area in Dundas, and also has a year round flow. Mm -hmm. 
Borers Falls, also known as Rock Chapel Falls, powered the Rock Chapel Village Sawmill, which was run by the Borer family for more than a hundred years. But when the land was cleared, the creek's flow was altered to the extent that it was no longer a strong energy source, so the Borers switched to steam power for the mill. Falls is one of 13 Hamilton waterfalls to be regularly featured on postcards during the last hundred years. It is also included in two popular posters, Waterfalls of Hamilton, Seasons, and Waterfalls of Hamilton, Autumn. Felgers Falls is located on a branch of the Red Hill Creek called Davis Creek. Its height is 22 meters and its crest width is 6 meters. It is considered a terraced ribbon falls and experiences year-round flow. The waterfall was formerly owned by Joseph Benjamin Felker, who was born and lived his entire life on the same property. Since Felker's Falls is situated just off of a subdivision, if you do go and visit, please show respect for private property. Webster's Falls is a curtain waterfall 22 meters in height. Located at the Webster's Falls Conservation Area in Greensville, its source is Spencer Creek. It is one of two falls within the Spencer Gorge, and with a crest of 24 meters, it is the largest in the region. It is also probably the most popular and widely known fall in Hamilton, and has the biggest park associated with the waterfall. According to Joe Hollick, Webster's Falls has the highest number of vintage postcards bearing its image, suggesting that it was also the most frequently visited waterfall a century ago as well. This waterfall was originally known as Dr. Hamilton's Falls after Dr. James Hamilton purchased the land in 1818. The waterfalls and 78 acres of the surrounding land were purchased by Joseph Webster after his family arrived from England in 1820. According to the Hamilton Conservation Authority, who currently owns the land, the Webster family manor still stands on the Webster's Falls Road, and the gravestones have been preserved in a small section just off the Bruce Trail on the way to Two's Falls.
According to romantic legend, an Indian maiden named Nago Shi Anong, which means evening star in the Ojibwe language, fell in love with a white man. Her lover was killed by a jealous Indian suitor, and rather than live without him, she pressed his dead body to hers and plunged into the roaring waters at Webster's Falls. A poem about the ill-fated couple was printed in a souvenir booklet put out by the Women's Wentworth Historical Society.